Welcome everyone to another short Star Wars Your Old Republic video and patch 5.6 is right upon us. It's just around the corner. It's going to be November 28th and we're going to be getting the new Flashpoint which is really exciting. Unfortunately the Warzone, the Warzone copy for the Alderaan Civil War has been delayed but that's alright. We're going to be getting the new Flashpoint. We're also getting a ton of quality of life changes. And for this video I wanted to highlight one quality of life change that is really going to affect end game gearing and it's quite exciting and I wanted to go into as many details as we have right now in terms terms of uh, what to expect. So the main change is happening to unassembled components. Now these are those really pesky uh, currency that you earn. It's really hard to earn it and you can only earn it on one character which is really annoying. Now it is going to be legacy wide. Meaning if you earn a ton of these on just your main character you can now send them to your alts and get them geared up as well. So that's kind of the major change happening. Uh, one thing to note is you will no longer be capped. So right now, each character can only hold a maximum of 1,000 of these. Now you will be able to earn an unlimited amount, which is awesome, but it will no longer be an uh, actual currency like, for example, credits. It will actually be a bind on legacy token that you have to store in your inventory. So the most convenient thing to do will be to put it in your legacy tab. And the reason I say that is because it's really important you guys don't get it lost. Like, for example, you forget which character you had them on, and you have to go searching through all your characters in the inventories to find it. Now that it's an actual token, you're going to want to make sure you keep track of it. So make sure you throw it in your legacy tab but also the inventory space shouldn't be too much of an issue because now these items stack up to 10,000 as a maximum so I doubt anyone's gonna really earn 10,000 of these so um they are basically gonna be very similar to Jawa scrap right now and how those look uh, so yeah you'll now be able to mail them to different characters or grab them from your legacy bay and gear up all of your alts quite easily Another thing to note, which is one of the changes I'm most excited for, is now unassembled components will be given for disintegrating items from your command stash. But it's only for specific items. It will only work for a stack containing gear. So basically that is just the green, blue, purple, and legendary gear you get from the command crates. The other stuff, like for example, you get a Grand Chance Cubes now, you get, um, what else, you get a uh, companion gifts. You also get that orange moddable gear which doesn't contain stats. Those will not give you unassembled components. You will still only get CXP for those. The only thing you get unassembled components for are going to be the blue, uh, purple, and legendary and green gear. And also presumably you'll earn more unassembled components for the higher level gear. So legendary will give you a ton of them. Green will only give you a few of them. This is awesome. I am 100% sure this is going to make this, the, the disintegration process a ton more rewarding. However, there is always a catch. And what Bioware has done is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit weird and a little bit confusing to explain, but I'll try my best. So basically what they're doing is they want to make sure the disintegration process and now that you're getting unassembled components is not too overpowered. They don't want people being able to just disintegrate their items and gear up their alts that way. So what they're doing is they're doubling the prices of everything that costs unassembled components. So if a certain upper body armor, let's say, costs 120 unassembled components, after the update, it will cost you 240. Now, before you guys get too angry about that, they are also doubling the drop rate of unassembled components from all of its non-galactic command sources. So basically, from war zones, operations and missions, you will earn double the amount of unassembled components that you currently do. So technically the prices are staying the same. However, this is not affecting the disintegration. So the way, it, so what they're trying to do basically, the purpose of this is it's keeping the disintegration new method in check now. They want to make sure people aren't just going to, you know, farm a ton of these uh, command crates, open them, disintegrate, get a ton of unassembled components, just gear up your alts. They want to make sure people are still doing their content like war zones and stuff. So once again, technically the prices are remaining the same because you are getting, you know, the war zones are now going to give you double unassembled components. However, the disintegration is still only going to give you a few. So in order to really judge this new system, we want to see how many we're actually getting from disintegrating the green, blue, purple. And uh, we don't have those numbers right now. We're going to have to see what they look like actually in game. Hopefully Bioware is going to give us a decent amount. So that way, once again, we want the disintegration process to feel more rewarding. If we farmed a ton of command crates, we want to feel like we're actually getting something out of it and not leaving everything up to RNG. But from what I'm seeing here, it does look pretty nice. I'm quite excited for these changes. I do think gearing is just slowly, slowly 
really becoming a non-issue anymore. It's, it's getting a lot more manageable. Uh, it just sucks that it took this long from when they introduced Galactic Command to really implement these changes that uh, a lot of the community has been asking for. But it is finally here and I think we should celebrate that. So given all this information, how can you guys prepare for these changes? The first thing you're going to want to do is do not use your command crates. You're going to want to save up as many of them as possible because you're going to want to take advantage of that new disintegration system. So, you know, the more of these uh, stack containing items you're disintegrating, the more unassembled components you're going to be able to farm. So do not use your command crates right now. Really save them up, especially now that it's the double CXP event. Make as much use of that as possible. The second thing you're going to want to do is use up any unassembled components that you have have right now and buy up as many of them uh, as many like stacked containing uh, items or gear as you possibly can because remember the prices will be doubling but I mean I don't see Bioware doubling the amount of unassembled components we have right now so for example if you have 500 unassembled components uh, that's you know gonna get you like you know three or four um, gear items right now but after the update that's going to be worth a lot less it's only going to get you like one or two because once again the prices are doubling and Bioware won't really be doubling how much we have right now so spend up as many unassembled components as you can buy as much gear as you can and um, that way you, you'll, you'll be making as much use of your unassembled components as possible and those are the tips that I have. If anyone else can think of any other things you might want to do in order to prepare for the update, leave them in the comment section. I'll pin any of the comments that are kind of really awesome and that way everyone kind of is making the best use of their components and the new changes that are to come. Let me know what you guys think about these changes in the comment section. As I mentioned, I'm quite excited and happy with them. One other thing to mention is credits will also be um, legacy wide now as well so your credits will go into a bank just like your guild bank but it will just be for your legacy and so uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to manage your credits if you're on just another character that only has like a hundred thousand credits you can just grab it from your legacy bank and go buy whatever you want to GTN and stuff you won't have to log out go to your other character and mail the credits uh, I've had to do that a ton of times it's really annoying so once again there's just some awesome quality of life changes that are gonna make the game a lot more fun also, apparently the credit cap is being increased a sh like a shit ton. And so, uh, I don't know, maybe that's a new goal for me. Who knows if I'll be able to reach it. I don't know what the new credit cap is. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and are excited for these changes. And I will see you guys in the next one.